Welcome back to 7 Tips for Better Research on Google. I'm your host, Rob Sarka. And we're up to tip number 7. I've saved it for last because it's both powerful and a little frustrating. Let me start with an example. Here's a great video. We'll leave you to watch it on your own, though. I'm just going to grab the URL. Here's a video about uh, Friedrich Hayek and uh, John Maynard Keynes, two names I hope you recognize if you're an economics student. We'd like to see who links to this fun video. Obviously, there are a bunch of uh, fun-loving economists. We're going to use Google's link operator, L-I-N-K, and then a colon, and then we'll give it the URL. I like to sometimes, uh, sometimes I I'm not sure why, but I seem to get better results if I trim off the scheme at the beginning. Not in this case. Also, sometimes you want to trim off things off the end of the URL. Some of that cruft that accumulates there, like utm underscore source equals something or other, or ref equals something. The stuff that comes in the query string after the question mark. But in this case, not so much. Okay, well, we have 453 results. That's pretty good. I'm going to bet that there are a heck of a lot more links to this video than that, though. Um, it may seem obscure to you, but among a certain uh, class of people with a certain sense of humor, it's a, it's a great video and very popular. This is the downside of the link operator. I said there was good news and bad news. The good news is very interesting. You can see who's linking to a page, which is hard to do. On the other hand, you don't get to see everyone linking to a page. So, thank you, Google, but... <laughs> I understand there are reasons. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, you can see that this could be a very useful tool if you're looking for links to some page that's extremely popular. Um, however, for a lot of searches, you're going to get no results at all, even though there probably are some links out there. So for a typical working paper, if you find even a link or two to that working paper in a Google search, that's... Uh, you're probably doing well. There's something else you can do though. So let's say for example that we're over at the Organizations and Markets blog. And this is an economics blog with contributions from Yukon's own Professor Langua. And uh, as you can see it's about uh, industrial organization or uh, the economics of organizations, that sort of thing. And if you're interested in more content about the kinds of things that you see on this blog, or especially if you have something controversial and you want different perspectives on it, you're interested in whether people uh, have s found some flaws in an argument or if people are endorsing a particular argument, it's good for the link for uh, to look for links in. In this case, I'm going to look for links into the entire site, not to a specific blog post. And that's going to let me get a lot of results, in this case about 600 of them. So a moderately popular blog. We've got 603 results here. And as you can see, they do generally tend to be about the same sort of thing, economics of some sort. So if you found a site that's a good resource and you want to find more like it, one way is the link operator. Um, there's also a similar operator called related and I'm going to leave you to read that up, up about that uh, on your own and I'll provide a link with the video. I do want to give you a uh, bonus track here at the end of the video though. Here's a bonus tip. If you forget how to do any of these particular um, operators like link colon or site colon that we've covered in these tips Google.com slash advanced underscore search gives you a form-based interface and it lets you do all the things that we've talked about and then and then some. So you can really dig in deep to the power of Google search and uh, customize your results. 
So take a look at that. It's a good starting place to learn about how to conduct different kinds of searches. Hope you've learned something and good luck with your research. If you're one of my students, good luck with your writing. We'll see you in another series of videos sometime soon.